Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen and channel. So today I'm going to show you how I make my roasted lamb leg or roasted herb lamb leg because it's a lot of herb that I'm going to use. I've already washed it and dried it. And you're going to take a knife, a sharp knife, and stick some holes. Just stick some holes in it, okay? This is my knife that I use. I just took the knife and I just made it like that, right? That is what you're going to do. And to that, I am going to add my seasoning to it. So, um, sprinkle of black pepper. Okay, we're gonna do each side separate. I have here my yellow dragon seasoning that I use. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit. I have my all purpose seasoning that I use. I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit and I have my barbecue seasoning mix that I'm going to sprinkle a little bit as well now I'm not measuring for this I'm just using my fingers my hands to eyeball this you're going to give this a rub I'm not putting salt any additional salt to this Turn it around. I'm going to wash my hands and sprinkle. Do the same thing on the side. And we do the same thing. Black pepper. Now, if you want my sprinkle, this is a teaspoon. So let me give you that average with a teaspoon. So you have a better idea how much to use. So basically it's like a teaspoon and everything. Give that a rub. Now when you're doing this lamb leg, the little trick is to season, to wash and season your lamb leg like a day or two before. So in that way, you see those, the stabs that I gave it with a knife, it will get into that meat, soften up that meat, marinate up that meat, and you would get a better flavor in that meat. Because this has to slice when it's finished. I'm using my rotisserie machine for this. You can put it on a wire rack and put it into your oven and rest that wire rack into a big roasting pan so the oils and the juices will drop into that right and here I have my rosemary and my garlic mix as I said it's a herb flavored rotisserie lamb leg And I'm going to leave back some of that um, rosemary and garlic and pour a little oil on it so when I'm doing it in the machine and it's halfway cooked I'm going to brush that on it and I have my regular green seasoning which I will leave the link down below in the description box it consists of that bandana and um, garlic and pimentos and celery And that's it for the seasoning part right simple but with a lot of different um, ingredients 
um, you will have a nice roasted herb lamb leg done in the rotisserie machine or the oven. Let me wash my hands. And I will show you the next step when it's cooking. Stay tuned. I forgot to mention after it's done seasoned, you're gonna take a, a bowl and you're going to rest it in that bowl, a large enough bowl, and you're going to scrape off the rest of the seasoning that remains. Just put it in there and you're going to cover it and put it in your refrigerator or the fridge and leave it there until you're ready to use it. Right? This is the rotisserie lamb leg, full of different herbs, rosemary, garlic. It's going to be very, very delicious and flavorful. And it's finished I'm going to take it off and I'm going to slice it and show you what it looks like beautiful isn't it So the rotisserie lamb leg has finished and I'm going to slice it and show you guys what it looks like. And that is how it looks like.